It's Amy O from Parenting the Mental Health Generation podcast. Enjoy another real talk, essays from real life. In real life, I grieve because my son is a senior, and this is it. Courage doesn't roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Mary Ann Radmaker This has been my call to arms for the past several years as my now senior has been on a journey through his mental health. I sit here on the last morning of his last high school finals and grieve for what wasn't and might not be. It's been a tough week. He is stuck in the same first gear he was stuck in finals week of freshman year and every finals week since, with work needing to be completed, but his depression and anxiety controlling his ability to do the work. I grieve because there are no more finals weeks left to figure it out. This is it. Is this the truth I've questioned for a while? Is he not ready to launch yet? I grieve because we're missing yet another milestone. College applications and acceptances. I've learned when parenting a child struggling with their mental health that it's about the not yet or not right now. The living in the gray. But it's hard to live in the gray when it feels like everyone else is applying to colleges and getting accepted to, into their first choice school. Instead, he sits here trying to get that last paper, project, or assignment just submitted, fighting the need for it to be perfect. Just done and turned in is the goal. Years of therapy, his and mine, have ingrained in me the skills to equip me not to have all or nothing, catastrophizing or fortune-telling thinking. I know a grade on a paper or a class, a GPA, the number of AP, honors, dual credit classes taken or not taken, do not define my son. In fact, I know the lessons he has learned taught by Mr. Depression and Miss Anxiety that have torn him apart and rebuilt him into the resilient young man will actually get him farther in life than any AP or Honors High School class ever will. I know he will find the right path for himself at the right time. And I grieve for normal just once. I want my firstborn to achieve the milestone first, not my secondborn. So today, perhaps I will sit with the grief and try again tomorrow. We thank our brave contributors for sharing their stories. If you'd like to write about what's happening in real life, email info at catchescommunity.org or see the show notes for more information. Remember, mental health matters because if you don't have your mental health, you don't have anything.